Las Cruces has 500 miles of city operated streets. That's a lot of road to keep up with. At a glance, this map may help you see which roads need the most attention. Red is pretty bad and uh, we have a scale. It's about five colors going from red to green and you have intermediate orange and yellow. Red lines show roads in need of complete reconstruction. Green lines are new or just treated roads. So how does the city decide which roads will get an upgrade next? It starts with a computer program and field data that was collected a few years ago. The whole process is called Pavement Management System, or PMS. It's a very scientific, systematic approach that we're taking, that we're not just randomly picking streets. Each year, the city identifies its street repair budget, plugs that monetary number into the PMS system, and that determines the best way to treat the road. What happens then is the intelligence of the software determines the right timing for the right type of application to the road. The applications include, for example, pothole patching, crack sealing, pavement replacement, or full reconstruction. Several years ago, Cindy Place was recognized as a street in need of pavement replacement. It will soon undergo treatment, which will extend the life of this road for several years. What we do is we bring in a milling machine that removes the asphalt from the roadway. That asphalt is generally about two inches thick. And then we leave the base course, which is the gravel under the asphalt. We leave that in place. We recompact the base course, and then we put back three inches of new asphalt. Well, here I'm showing uh, Cindy Place, this street right here, and it's, uh, it's, it's showing part of its red just for visuals. Um, it needs to be redone, and it will be redone, and this is how it shows afterwards. And departments will work together to make sure all upgrades needed are done at the same time to save the city money and the drivers the headache of detours. Most of our utilities lie in the roadbed. So we don't want to go in and do a, a, an asphalt project and find out later that the sewer lines or the gas lines or water lines need to re be replaced shortly after. So we, we coordinate with them. After roads are treated, the data is updated in the PMS, making red roads green and making the treated roads last a lot longer for a lot less money than a complete redo. For City Beat, I'm Jennifer Martinez.